Hi, this is Joel Beleza from the Foundation for Early Learning. I'm excited to announce a new feature on the early learning community. This new feature is chat. Uh, just like Facebook and MySpace, you can uh, easily communicate with your friends and your colleagues. Uh, you'll notice at the bottom of the site now, a little bar will show up and you can see if any of your friends are online. With just a couple clicks, you can start uh, chatting with them just like any other instant message program. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. My email is joel at earlylearning.org. Thank you. So this is a new exciting feature from the Early Learning community. It's integrated chat. And uh, just like uh, most of the features of the Early Learning community, you first have to log in. So this is not logged in, but I've already created an account. I'm going to come over here and log into my account. What you'll notice right away is that part of the new feature is at the bottom it has this bar. And uh, if, you, if you click on the bar, it'll kind of expand and it'll show you who's online right now and you can even I am with them. It has a couple other icons here. If you want to pop this out into its own window, you can do that. You can go offline, meaning that you'll still be on the early learning community, but other members can't I am with you. And, uh, and you have that feature. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to minimize this just by double clicking that, by clicking that again. And uh, that's just going to sit there. And I can still navigate around the site, no problem. I can go to the group section if I want to. And that's, that's still always going to be available there. And it's still, again, right there available to me. If uh, I I'm ready to chat with maybe a community coalition member or another colleague, I can, uh, they'll show up here on the right hand side and it's just as easy as double clicking on them. And you'll see something, it says private chat, that means it's, uh, it, it's, you're instant messaging them, you're, you're chatting directly to them. So let's click it. This is my colleague, Ni, and she has joined the conversation. I go, hi Ni, and she just I'm to me back. And uh, I can say that this instant message is great. Or how, how is life? You can even put in little different uh, icons. You see these little, they're called emoticons. So if I want to put up sunglasses. I can just hit enter and it shows up right there. And this right here turns on and off sound. So if I have this turned on, it uh, it'll alert me every time I get an I am. So great. Speaking with you, Ni. Nee. Have a great day. And it's just that simple. So this is a little demo of I am. So again, um, if you want to pop this out, you could make that show up in a new window, just as simple as selecting that. You can then close that window. Um, if you'd like to go offline and not be visible to the public, this is pretty important for someone who maybe uh, needs to get some work done on the early learning community or is blogging but does not want to uh, use the instant message service. You just come right down to the bottom, it says go offline. Click that button down here, and if you notice, now it has a little red mark instead of a little green dot, and that means you will not be shown to the public, and uh, you will not be able to use the instant message feature until you turn that back on and it says go online. So, uh, so that's it. That's a little demo of the instant message feature. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at joel at earlylearning.org, or of course you can also... Uh, become my friend and send me an instant message on the early learning community. Thank you and have a wonderful day.